Where can I put it? Maybe the bathroom? No. I might need that. How about the broom closet? Duh! Go! Ish! No. Uh, I wouldn't put a dead man in there. Ah. <laughs> yes! The wardrobe! Duh!
Opening night of the Lonely Ones. Promising young playwright, top-notch cast, including yours truly, in his first starring role, September 3rd, 1952. The New York Times releases a review by the great Bertrand Finch. Appalling, it reads. The play was pure dreck from beginning to end. Perhaps the only saving grace was the performance of a young Trevor Stanton, who set a shining example to actors everywhere. How not to nice. act. Perfect. Yes. I did write that, didn't I? The play closed three nights later. Well, you know, let's be fair. I, I'm not the executioner. No, I'm, I'm the undertaker. Well, you see, that play was dead before it ever opened. We were just getting it on its feet. If you had maybe tempered your criticism just a little, we might have saved it. It is not my job to save your dreary little play. It is my job to report the truth. And the truth is your acting stock. You are trying, you know. What's that? Acting. <laughs> you are losing your mind, good boy. You're scared. Scared? Scared of what? Of being proven wrong, a uh, hypocrite. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. February 8th, 1953. The Without a Breath opens at the Cherry Lane. February 9th. You write, The artless mugging of these young Yale graduates proves what I've been maintaining for the last year. The drama schools in this country are worthless. If they don't start teaching their students to act with some style and some grace, I'll have to teach them myself. I did write that, didn't I? That and, oh, another 300 words on what makes for a moving performance. Well, all right, then. How about we have a little wager? Your acting skill versus mine. I don't have much money. Oh, money is such a trivial little thing. Why don't we make it really interesting? What do you mean? Well, if I were to lose, I would resign my post at the Times. And if I lose, I suppose I have to give up acting? Perfect. Well, you would, but I don't know that you ever started. Trevor, open up! Uh, it's Jack! We've got to get in the wardrobe! <laughs> well, you know the conditions. I'm not taking your bet. Well, then I am not getting in the wardrobe. Trevor, you old dog! Hey, you know, open in there! What? No! I'm, I'm just rehearsing my lines! Forsooth! Thou must take refuge in yon chamber of wood! <laughs> if there's no wager, then there's no harm in me being seen. Come on, Trevor! Open this door and I'll show you a few boys here! All right, I'll be right there! Fuck it! Take your bet. If I can't act again, you can't ever write again. What? Never? Not even a grocery list. Oh, now wait a minute. Go on! Oh, fine. Don't touch her. She doesn't care if you drink rat poison? Let's just say if she got me doing that, she wouldn't be thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> I don't know why you two don't just call it quits. Oh, we've tried. God knows we've tried. But we're actually good for each other. She keeps me employed, and I keep her feeling young. <laughs> That's a rather mercenary outlook. 
Well, what am I going to do? Last good part I had was three years ago, and it came from my comb. Well, call me a hopeless romantic, but I believe love is more important than money. Well, we can't all have a girl like Melanie. She is wonderful, isn't she? As lovely as a knight in Spain. Mm. And about as bright as one, too. Hey. 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 While I'm thinking about it, I've got something for you. No. Oh, Jack, uh, I'm flattered, but really, I don't think you're my type. It's not for you, it's for Sylvia. So why are you giving it to me? You know that proposal scene at the end of Act 3? When I hand you the ring? Yes. Only instead of giving me the prop ring, I want you to give me this one. You're going to propose to Sylvia as a part of the play? Yes. It's in the script. So she can't say no. <laughs> That's awfully romantic of you. Well, I got to do something. I think she's seen another man. Who do you think she's seen? I don't know. But if I find out, I'm going to tear him from limb to miserable limb. You know, this ring looks almost exactly like the proper. It does, except for there's a little flaw in it right there. See? Oh, yeah. It's like a little blue horseshoe. Must be good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I don't feel lucky. Just $500 poor. Yeah, I've been thinking about marrying uh, no, Melanie. No, 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 yeah. What are you going to propose to Melanie? No. <laughs> Our love is, uh, I think, too deep be wrapped up in something as crass and materialistic as a ring. Have you told her that? What do you think, I'm crazy? <laughs> well, you better do something soon before she finds out you don't have a dime to your name. Well, something tells me that this play is going to be a big hit. Well, it might be, until Bertram Finch gets his talons into it. Oh, come on. Bertram Finch isn't that bad. Bertram Finch? The Barracuda Broadway? Well, if he was here in this room right now, I'd tell him what a blivering idiot he is. Stop. <laughs> God. Well, now. <laughs> are, are you feeling okay? You, you know, never better. You look a little stressed. <laughs> what would I have to be stressed about? Nothing, I suppose. <laughs> now, where was I? Uh, well, we were talking about Melanie. Mm -hmm. Yes, your beautiful Yes. Best. No, we weren't. I was talking about Bertram Fitch. Did you read his last review? No. You know, I don't really read reviews. Tell you, it was complete drivel. If I didn't know any better, I would say a bad food wrote it. <laughs> that, that's leaning on a lot of little hearts, don't you think? You're right. I apologize to all baboons everywhere. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling all right? You know? Maybe I could use that drink. Hey, now you're talking. Oh, hey, all right. Uh, I was hoping for something maybe a little, I don't know, less desperate. I keep some vodka in the green room. Great. Or you keep that the fire extinguisher? No, but that's a great idea. Uh -huh. Ooh, oh, God, you can't he use that bad boom. You can't let him. And why not? Because if you leave, Forfeit the bet. And if you forfeit the bet, you miss your chance to make me quit acting. You drive a hard bargain, Stanton. <laughs> Go. Yes. Watch out of time, this poor drug. Yes. <laughs> Finally, I can put on my makeup. Jack's not here, Sylvia! What'd you say? I said Jack.
Or have you been sleeping with me just so I would give the part in this play? <laughs> I wish you wouldn't talk that way, Sylvia. That makes me feel cheap. Oh, cheap. Believe me, darling, you are anything but cheap when you go through caviar. Look, of course I want to marry you, darling, but just, just think of what the newspapers will say. Say about what? You know, uh, <laughs> you know our age difference. What age difference? Well, you know how I'm, I'm 23, and you're, you're... <laughs> Go on, darling. How old do you think I am? Uh, 23 and a half. <laughs> you, you sweet, deluded boy. I haven't been that young in weeks. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Where did you get that? What? what?
Oh, I'll never get any of this backstage lingo. Well, yeah, of course I'm so excited. I'm just really glad you were able to get a seat. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't a problem at all. The boy at the box office said there were plenty of seats available. <laughs> oh. Well, I suppose I better go. I just came to hang this up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's the matter? Uh, Dad, can you jump that with the coat, girl? Are you kidding me? Daddy would never forgive me if this got stolen. It cost him $5,000, you know. What sort of exterminator can afford a $5,000 mink coat? A very successful exterminator? So, uh, what's the word? Uh, what's the word? Handy? You have such a gift for language. <laughs> Trevor, let's come over you. You never cared about my hands what? before. My eyes are only just now opening to their loveliness. How do you keep them so soft? Goose Oh, God. Can I put away my mink now? What is a mink compared to the eternity of our love? Come on, Trevor. Darn right! 
You should like my grandma. I want prison is she in? Fifteen minutes. Oh. I'm glad we had this little chat. You know, if this whole uh, acting thing don't work out for you, I'm sure I can find another position. Oh, no, oh, uh, I don't think I could ever be an exterminator. It's not the kind of uh, position I was thinking of. Keep it down, Bertrand! You almost gave yourself away! This is the wrong bottle. So? I need the one with rat poison in it. Okay, what does it look like? Like this one. I got you. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, you don't want to get those mixed up. You talk about it. Oh, oh my God. Where is it? Oh, uh, I used it up. You used up an entire bottle of rat poison. Yes. Must have been a mighty big rash. You have no idea. But what'd you do with it? I used it up. Uh, uh, listen, you've got to get out of here right now. Wait, wait, wait what, what am I going to do about the uh, rat? Just, just you, you send an eviction notice or something. Uh, oh my god! I poisoned her from Finch. Huh? Oh, where are you? Stop being so argumentative! 
the door now. Wait, why, why are you pushing, taking me this way and the door is over there? Yeah, but it's such a beautiful night out. Wouldn't you rather leave my window? What? No, but I, I'll come into my desk. Oh, I doubt that. The ledges are like a good eight inches wide. Who do you think I am? No, what? What? Well, look, just, just go on the edge so you get to the end and then jump to the uh, building next door and shimmy down the drain pipe and you're home free. <laughs> Who do I look like? Do you Spider-Man? Yeah. Thought 
You were tougher than that! Come on, bitch! Oh my god! I killed person, bitch! Go! Go away! I, uh, I mean, uh, who is it? It's Jack! I was right the first time! Open the door, Trevor! I'm dying out here! supposed to be funny. Oh. This is the worst of it. What do you mean? I missed my chance to propose to Sylvia. <laughs> At least you can propose to her tomorrow night, can't you? I could if I had a ring. What you know, you have a really unhealthy obsession with rings. Where is it? Where's what? The ring. The, the real ring or the fake ring? The real ring. I don't give a flying thing about the fake ring. I don't. I must have lost it. You lost a five hundred dollar ring. That's your fault. You shouldn't have paid more than four hundred for it. How'd you lose it? I, I don't know. It must have slipped through a hole in my pocket. What about the other ring? I thought you didn't. What? Wait, wait, what other ring? The fake ring. I thought you didn't give a flying thing about the fake ring. I changed my mind. Okay. Look, here. Let me check. Okay. Mm. Is it here? Nope, 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 lost it. You lost the proper ring? Yes. And the real ring? Uh-huh. Must be one hell of a hole. Uh, do, do you want to feel it? Oh, my finger in your hole. Look at that. Line. I thought you weren't. I thought you weren't mad. I'm not mad! It's good! So, where did you see it last? What? The ring. The real ring or the prop ring? The real ring! I, I, it must have been here when you gave it to me, I suppose. Okay, so somewhere between here and the hallway and the green room and the stage, you lost the ring. Well, you're going to make me narrow it down. That's not narrowing it down, Barrymore! Look, I, then, then, you better go look for it then, okay? Oh, no, no, no. You're going to go look for it. Let go. You're going to cut off the circulation to something important. You're going to find that ring, or my name is it. Tony the Playbook! Uh, uh, you, you, you know him? Yes. Somebody hired him to have me killed once. Uh, who would pay to have you killed? Uh, a producer of a play I was in for sleeping. While you were on stage? No, when his wife in bed. Hey, Trisha, open up! It's Trevor! Whatever! Don't open that door. I have to open it sometime. You actually, you don't. Do what you want to spend the rest of your life in this tiny little room? Well, I've got a toilet and I've got a couch. I'm good. But the toilet doesn't work. No, I'll hold it. If you don't open this door right now, I'm going to blast my way in. You've got to hide. Well, I have to hide. I'm sorry. I don't open the wardrobe! I love you. 
opposed to having doors slammed in my face. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't shoot! I ain't gonna shoot you. You ain't? No, but I ought to. Take a look at this. Estimated value 15 cents? I had it appraised. Have what appraised? That little trinket you gave my daughter. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'd call that a trinket. Well, I would. Turns out, it's made out of tin. Well, I mean, gold is so overrated these days, right? Uh, gold rings, gold coins, uh, they, 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 they even got golden mustard. My little girl is used to gold and diamonds and Cadillacs and minks. Yeah, yeah then, then maybe she should be buying me a trinket. Uh, I'm sorry, what? sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I don't know how it happened. Well, I do. You do? Yeah. You got fleeced. Fleeced? That jeweler, he must have pulled a fast one on you. Naughty jeweler. You want me to go talk to him? I could put him on ice for you. Uh, no, I prefer my jewelers straight up. All right, well, I'll let Melanie know she can expect a more uh, appropriate token of your affection. In half an hour. Half an hour? I can't wait till tomorrow? I don't think so. Saturdays, I like to go skeet shooting. So? So I'm all out of skeet. I've got to go get the real, big, the real ring back from Sylvia. Where do you think you're going? I'm just going to step outside for a smoke. You don't smoke? No, but I really, really want to start. Hey, you're not going anywhere until you tell me who's in that wardrobe and why they have a distinct lack of mobility. <gasps> oh, all right. All right, if I tell you a secret, you promise not to tell me. Oh, yes, later we can stay up all night and paint those toenails. I'm serious, Jack. If you're expecting ethical behavior out of me, remember, I'm an actor. I... I killed Bertrand Finch. The theater critic? Yes. Was there a reward? Yeah. Free room and board from the state of New York and, and a deep personal relationship with a man known only as Scar. Well, maybe Finch isn't dead. Maybe he's just, I don't know, relaxed. That look relaxed to you? No, he looks dead. <laughs> you, 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 you have to help me get rid of him. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not stupid. That makes me accessory after the fact. It was your rap poison! Oh, where are you end up in? I don't know. I, I was thinking we could take it to the freight elevator and down to the basement, but there's just too many people around. How about we uh, toss him out the window? Well, yeah, a 300 pound man doing a swan dive on 44th Street? That's not going to attract any attention at all. We can make it like a suicide. Like he jumped. What do you mean? Mm, write a note. A suicide note. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute! That's brilliant! It yes! Is. Yes! Yes! Take a letter! What about your secretary? Just, if I write it, they're gonna think I'm the murderer. Take a letter. Well, we wouldn't want that now, would we? When, in the course of human events. No, 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 What's no, the matter? no. What's the matter? That's the Declaration of Independence. How do you know that? Because I played Thomas Jefferson in the Founding Father Follies. Remember? All right, all right. Uh, how about this? Goodbye, cruel world. Oh my god. No. No. What? What's the matter? He's a professional journalist. He was not going to write some hawk-eyed garbage like that. Actually, it appears that he would. Here, let me try. What, you think you can do better? I know I can do better than that. Right. Go ahead. I, Bertrand Finch, being of sound mind and sound body. Wait a minute. You called that body sound? <laughs> well, I thought that he would. <laughs> hey, good point. Okay. I, Bertrand Finch, being of sound mind and sound body, have come to the place where I realize the error of my ways. 
I wish to make recompense against humanity. Okay, now that's laying it on a little thick, don't you think? Not yet, I don't. Too long I have dipped my pen into the inkwell of bitterness and acerbity. Acerbity? Yes, it's a scrabble word, worth 15 points. What does it mean? I don't know. Go on. Okay. The greatest of these sins is not to recognize the greatest thespian that ever lived, Jack Mann. Uh, now, okay, hold on. Why do you get the rave review? Because I'm right in the know. Yeah, but I killed him. Only because you didn't let me get to him first. Who are you killing me, Trevor? <laughs> Regina! I uh, swear, you're going to send me to an early mental institution. I know, I know, I know. Uh, you know, I, I loved a few lines here and there. Oh, you lied. You flubbed every line, and that includes the two Shakespeare actually wrote. Oh, I, 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 I'm just not feeling quite like my... But you, like you have been. Uh, no, no, I don't drink alcohol before performance. That's your problem right there. Uh, don't you have a wagon to fall off of? Look, I haven't been feeling like myself lately, okay? That's just great. Would you like to be Laurence Olivier for a change? Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Listen, Trevor, you're one of the most promising young actors in New York. But if you keep flubbing your lines like this, the critics are going to murder you. Yes, not exactly. And listen, we're trying to have an intelligent conversation here. How many critics showed up tonight? Um, everyone but Finch. Really? Yeah, no one seems to know what happened to him. That's odd. I know. He hasn't missed a Broadway premiere in 20 years. Yeah, maybe he came down with something. Like rigor mortis. Well, it doesn't matter, because there are six other critics out there who'll be just as happy to crucify you as Fitchwood. Uh, don't, don't worry, I, I, I'm confident that I'm going to really outdo myself in Act 2. We already did Act 2! Actors, let's stop entering the show without any actors. Come on, we only got ten minutes before curtain goes up. Okay, do it. I'll grab his arms and you grab his legs. Why do I have to grab his legs? Well, look at you. I'm twice the muscle mass you are. Maybe mine are just a little bit denser. Have you thought of that? Okay, grab the arms, I'll grab the legs. Do right. yourself. Uh, ready? One, here we go. Two, two, three. Three. Uh, no! Oh, God. Oh, I didn't know 300 pounds weighed that much. Oh, oh, my God. Well, you like those donuts. There's a lot more than donuts in there. Well, if we got to put him on a diet, you better find time to do it. <laughs> uh, well, maybe we should just both uh, grab his feet. Okay, grab his feet. Ready? Uh, that didn't work. No. All right. Um, Let's grab his arms. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. One, one two, two, three. three. Ah, here we go. And there we go. Okay. Uh, who, who the hell is it? I mean, who, who is it? Darling? What? You, no, 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 no. <laughs> You've never called me that before. 
<laughs> of course I have. When you ask me to... No, 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 don't say that word! And... Please don't say that word. It's bad luck where, I'm, where I come from. Where do you come from, Reno? Look, Sylvia, I uh, really need to get that thing back from you. Thing? You know that... What thing? That, that round thing that I gave you before the curtain opened. Really, Trevor, if you want to understand you, you're going to have to talk more clearly. The, the, the round thing that goes on your finger, it's made of gold. Oh, you mean my... Yes, yes, exactly, exactly, yes, yes. Wait a minute. You're not breaking off our engagement. No, 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 of course not. I just, I feel so much stronger for you now than I did when we first uh, started hanging out. Uh, and, and you know, this thing, it's not really worthy of you anymore. Hmm? I don't know. I've... Well, to be rather fond of it. Of course, darling, but just think of how much more of a thing I could buy you. Oh, but how could you ever afford it? <laughs> Grand larceny? I, you know, don't worry your little head about it. I am going to get you the most wonderful, amazing thing money can buy. If you insist. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, what, 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 why did you say oh dear? Well, it's, it's stuck, I can't get it off. It's stuck? What do you mean it's stuck? Stop, stop, hold up. Right, Trevor, up. what has gotten into you? Oh, Trevor. Oh, God. You mean that little tramp that's been hanging around here? Yes, I mean, no, it's, uh, she's, it's Melanie, is my sister. You know, the one with the, the... Who are you talking to? Uh, just so, uh, a friend. A friend? That's all I am to you? Yeah, an, an old friend, a, a very old friend, possibly the oldest friend I've got. You just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper, don't you? Listen, Melanie, I'm really glad you stopped by, but it's bad luck for me to see anyone during intermission. You're seeing her? Uh, yes, but her name doesn't begin with an M. You know, Trevor, sometimes I think you're making up all these theatrical superstitions. Oh no, not this one. This one that I could get seriously injured. You know, I think it's even worse if we don't open this door. I think this would be an excellent time to see what's inside that world. No! No! <laughs> you know what we should do? Dance? Mm -hmm. I'll dance again. Let's play oh, oops, oh, dear, a little game. Dance. Okay? Game. Yes, what game? hide and seek. Oh, I'm going to like games. Yes. Okay. You're going to uh, look for the wardrobe and I'll tell you when you find it. So okay. Just, oh, just oh, okay. you oh. spin it up. I mean, yeah, I'm having a little trouble with the lock. Okay. Oh! Am I getting warmer? <laughs> oh, no, you're cold. No. You're icy cold. Okay. Keep, keep looking. Keep looking. Oh. Really, Trevor? I don't have time for these shenanigans. Uh, 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 yes. Oh, you're getting hot. I know, me neither. You are getting so hot. You are laying hot. <laughs> All right, watch your head. All right. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, uh, goodbye, Sylvia. Goodbye. What happened to your friend? She had to catch a train. Why did she leave by the window? It's an elevated train. You know, Daddy doesn't think that we should get married. Well, your father is a very wise man. What? Yes, don't you think that it might be time for us to, to maybe get to know other people? You want to break off our engagement? But to, just for a little while. But what will I tell Daddy? He just said that he didn't want us to get married. Yeah, but he never said that we couldn't be engaged. All right, fine, we'll, we'll, we'll stay engaged. Oh, Trevor, I accept. Wait, wait a minute. Haven't we been through this? I'll need a ring. What, what happened to the ring I gave you? 
Well, Daddy told me it was made out of cardboard. Yeah, I'll have you know that is 100% Olivian tin. I'll need a gold one with a great big diamond right in the middle. I know, darling. I doubt that you'll get it, but it'll have to wait till after the play. Wait, you mean there's more? Yes, there's two whole acts to go. Well, you better tell the audience that because they're all leaving. What? If you don't believe me, go look out the window. <laughs> no! Oh, my career! It's ruined! That's okay. Daddy will find an opening for you. Oh, I know! A rectangular one in the ground! Can, can you just can you get the ring back from him, please? Oh, Daddy already gave it back to me. Well, let me have it. I can't do that. Why not? Because I gave it to the nice police officers. Police officers? What, 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 what police officers? The police officers that were backstage. I think they're really big fans of yours. What? Yeah, they were asking me all sorts of questions, like, where were you three hours ago, and if you have any violent tendencies. What did you tell them? Well, you did break my toe. That was an accident. We were playing tennis. <sighs> That's what I told them, but they still insisted on taking pictures of it anyway. Okay, I've got to get out of here. Please. There they are now! Don't you want to talk to your fans? They're not my fans! Well, no, not if you treat them like that or not. Wait a minute. You're not a criminal, are you? Not till I'm caught. I'm not. Open the door, Mr. Stanton. We have a warrant. <laughs> oh, Trevor, you are a criminal! What? No! I. You are a criminal! You... 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 Oh. Turns out no one's seen him for hours. Damn! What? Ham! Would you like some ham? 
Oh, no thanks. I don't like to eat anything that's smarter than I am. We were thinking that you could tell us where he was. Why me? Well, we have an eyewitness. You saw you snooping around Fitch's apartment this afternoon. I did? Really? Is it Santa? It's Santa, isn't it? It's the doorman at the Ritz Carlton. The, uh, the Ritz Carlton? Look, uh, it's it, it, Jerry. What, are you trying to give him everything away? No. It, it couldn't have been me. I was here all day. You sure of that? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you got a twin. No. Is it a triplet? Will you give it up already? Well, how come I never get to be the bad cop? Trust me, you are an extremely bad cop. <laughs> Listen, I'm really glad you stopped by, officers, but I came to get back. You seem to be in a hurry to get rid of us. Well, of course not. What have you been doing here all day? Yeah, I, me? I've been doing actorly things. Either putting on makeup, rehearsing my lines. What the hell are you? He was rehearsing his lines. Yeah, so? Yeah, but well, we both saw that. There wasn't a whole lot of rehearsing going on there. Do you have anybody that can back up your alibi? Yes, you can ask anyone here. Well, a, uh, Melody Marzoni says you didn't get here till 7. That's a surprise. What, that Miss Monzoni doesn't back up your story? No, that Miss Monzoni can even tell time. Hey, we have enough evidence to haul you into the station right now. <gasps> no, we don't, Jerry. We still need to find Finch. Maybe we should just poke around. <sighs> what, do you think that Stanton would be dumb enough to... Hide the victim right under our noses? I think Trevor will. Officers, come Trevor! There's a lunatic on the loose! Oh, that's all right. He's with me. Not like a lunatic. I mean the one in the lobby. What does he look like? He's a great big guy with no neck and a pinstripe suit. I think his name is Tony. Tony the Tiger? Yeah, you can't fool me. There's no such thing as Tony the Tiger. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. Me too. Not anymore. I'm arresting you. 
you for the murder of Bertram Finch. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to kidnap him a little. No by now, son. Crime never pays. No, oh, but gambling does. He's alive. Oh my god, it's a miracle. <laughs> what? It's no miracle. Finch was pretending to be dead. Oh, I wouldn't say pretending. I prefer the term acting. Oh my <laughs> god. And Trevor's not a murderer? No, but he's still a two-timey louse. A two-timey louse who's out of a job. What are you talking about? Well, it's quite simple, really. He and I wagered each other's careers on who is the better actor. And Bertram won, fair and square. <laughs> what makes you think he's a better actor? Well, none of us believed he was alive. Well, how do we know that he's still alive now? We'll just have to take his word for it, honey. There's one thing I don't understand. How are you not dead? You must have had enough rat poison to kill every rat in Manhattan. Oh, please. You honestly believe that I can't tell the difference between Scotland's greatest gift to civilization and rat poison? I don't know. Yeah, I try some of that stuff I've been drinking lately. Does this mean that we have to let him go now? I'm afraid so. Thank you, officers. I'll take it from you. <laughs> oh, not so fast. Hey, what's the big idea? You're under the rest of it, attacker. For what charge? Pick one. Murder, attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder. <clears throat> and having a really stupid nickname. Come on, Tony, it's time to snap, crackle, and pop. That's right, Krispies! Daddy, where are they taking you? Sorry, baby. It looks like my exterminating days are over. They're taking you to the big house. Oh, that's good. Our old one's getting kind of cramped anyways. Mel, baby, I'm, I'm sorry about uh, everything. Don't you sorry me, you womanizing womanizer. Does that mean you don't want to marry me? Marry you? Why would I want to marry you? I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on earth. And for all I know, you already are. More ways than one. What's the matter there? It's stuck. I can't get it off. Leave it. I'm not engaged anymore. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Do you think we could ever be happy together? Let's leave happiness for the young. For what we've got is so much better. What's that? Flicker! Oh. Between a dead man and someone who twitches their eyelids? 
<laughs> and I was doing so well. You know, I could give you some acting lessons, if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. I think I'll stick to writing. You know, you'd have to be crazy to be an actor. <laughs>